Oh, it better look Okay, so pal. Hi, everyone. How's everyone? Well, today is not Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. I actually had content for yesterday, but because... But because I didn't think that the content yesterday was worthy of putting up, I am doing it on Wednesday. I am sorry for the delay, guys. But when you're creative, you're very sensitive about your stuff. So, how has everyone's weekend been? How has your affirmations, your daily affirmations going? How's everything? I hope everything is well. As far as for me, I am in pain. My abs, my legs, and my arms feel like rubber bands because... Yesterday was the first day that I've worked out for the new year. I told you I was trying to get my body together. So, it's working. I'm eating healthy. I'm trying to eat healthy. I haven't eaten any, like, junk junk. But I did have a cheat day on Saturday. I did have french fries on the shit. But, hey, you're, you're allowed one slip up or a few. Anyway, so, I... Today's rant or today's reflection be on the fact that this weekend has been an emotional weekend as far as social media and TV is concerned because I'm pretty sure everyone has seen and saw the videos and the confessions of Mr. R. Kelly and everyone has been speaking about that so that's all everyone can speak about. I'm not going to say too much about it because Honestly, it's just a one big hot ass mess. Like, that documentary just showed that hurt people hurt people. And then, technically, it's not really the, the his fault. He is in charge of his actions, but he's a product of learned behavior, that which he learned from the, pre the, person, that, the person that's a predator to him. Because he definitely was prey between the ages of 7 and 14. But he's, he became a predator. So, with that being said, it's learned behavior. Now, the real question is, who hurt the sister? Who hurt the person that molested, molested her? And who molested that person that molested her? And who molested the person that... The person of the person that molested her, that she molested her, I mean her brother and her baby brother. Like, is this a never in the cycle that we all just, it's just sad, like I said. But the moral of the story, because I'm going I'm to clip that real, real, um, real short. Moral of the story is protect your damn kids, protect your babies. There's too much of this, this, you know. You know, we're in the, the, the land of the zombies where, you know, you just set your kids free and just let them find their way. Like, it's okay to be stingy with your children. It's okay. They need to. You have to be stingy with your kids because you have to be stingy when, when they're babies. You have to be stingy when they're adolescent. You have to be stingy when they're preteens, teenagers, even when they're adults. Like, you, you, you have to preserve their innocence as long as you can. Because you don't know who ulterior motives, friends, family, whatever. You can't trust your kids around any and everybody. You can't even trust them with friends, even family members. Like, if you have a, if you, you, you just can't be willing and able with everybody and bringing a whole bunch of multiple people and strange people in their lives, like, you're exposing them to certain things that at the age that they shouldn't be exposed to, like, you have to preserve their innocence. Like, you just have to. Like, stop being free. And I only can speak from example. I'm not a mother yet. I don't have any kids. But I am my mother and my father's oldest child. And my mother, even though I'm 29, my mother still, to this day, worries about me. Or what I'm doing or who I'm with. Now, granted, she's not, like, overbearing. 
But if she doesn't know, she's not comfortable at all. And then she voices her opinion if she is, if she isn't comfortable. Like she's like, well, you know, Malika, you need to look out for such and such because this doesn't sound right. This doesn't whatever. And honestly, even though that's my mom or whatever, I really take heed to what she says because there's nothing, nothing in this world that compared to like a mother's love. And if you don't have a mother that's like active in your life. You should have a mentor, a mentor, a grandparent, some type of elder that cares about you. So, and even if you don't have an elder that cares about you, if you have friends that are that are concerned about your well-being and stuff like that, like you know, you gotta, you have to, you have to be happy that you have those kind of people in your life because the way these kids are nowadays, it's like. They're fighting whatever they're fighting on top of growing up in a world that's dominated by social media and media outlets and stuff like that. So their 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 conception of certain things is warped. Like there's not much human contact. There's not much, you know, besides them going to school. If they didn't have to go to school, trust me, their smart devices will keep them coming every day, all day. Look at this guy. really really do feel old maybe because yesterday was my first time working out in a while but jesus christ my friend has a soca side so if you're ever in the brooklyn area on tuesdays and you want to work out venture over to soca side so if you guys want to partake in that you can and she's definitely going to give you a workout because jesus christ when i say my legs and everything is on fire it is but i know that's just my body saying okay you haven't worked out in so long so you know just keep it going keep it pushing but just don't blow your body out because i know you you have to take baby steps until you're able to do things where it doesn't Just went to sleep, yo. Like, I should not have ate that, yo. She let me punch her ass in the mouth. Like, she's so tired. Why? I can't, yo. I can't. I cannot. I just want you guys to have an amazing, amazing Wednesday. I'm sorry for the delay, but. You guys might get a twofer because tomorrow is Thursday. So, I will see you guys in my next one.